What's up, you guys? I'm Tex. Shouldn't have done that. What is happening, beautiful peoples of the YouTubes? Welcome to Setup Wars episode 239, Budget Edition. That's right, we're gonna take a look at some more awesome budget setups on the show. And as always, we're sticking with the same total budget of $2,000 or less, which includes the cost of the PC. If you guys wanna be on the show, make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, sit back and relax, because you know what time it is. Upgrade your dinky little 60 hertz monitor to the ASUS ROG Strix XG27AQ with a 1440p IPS display and a super fast 170 hertz refresh rate. You'll be clapping these tryhard kids online without a sweat. ASUS's extreme low motion blur sync technology works together with G-Sync, eliminating ghosting and tearing for sharp gaming visuals and high frame rates. Get yours today by clicking the link below. Starting off the episode is Charlie from Illinois and his modest gaming setup that took him two years to build. Damn, that is a lot of trophies. Apparently he won those from creativity competitions called Destination Imagination. Nicely done, man. Looks like he built a custom wall shelf just for those trophies. And underneath that, we got the Lindman Alex combo with a single 27 inch monitor that he won from a raffle. I like that tiny display case that he made out of Legos that holds his Lego collection. That is actually pretty cool. For peripherals, he's rocking a Cooler Master, Devastator 3 keyboard and mouse combo. And for audio, he's got a Cloud Stinger hanging from the wall underneath the desk. That's definitely an interesting location to mount headphones. Once again, we see naked RGB strips outside the setup. I would recommend diffusing those properly using the corner channel raceways. In fact, I did a video recently showing the process, so make sure to check it out in case you missed it. You know, doing this show for such a long time, you see the same color schemes over and over again. So it's refreshing to see something a little different. It appears that Charlie went for a Jedi versus Sith color scheme and even picked out the red P3 to stay consistent with that. He does have a VR system as well, but he mostly games on his custom PC. You know, most people that go with the Thermaltake Core P3 end up mounting it on the wall, since that's what the case is pretty much designed for. So it's interesting that Charlie decided to keep his on the desk and without a side panel on. The setup could definitely use a bit more work, but overall, I think you built a pretty awesome budget setup with a very bold color scheme. Thanks for starting off the show. The presentation of this next setup is amazing. That awesome forest wallpaper in the background just sets the tone for the rest of the setup. And because it's color neutral, it doesn't really take the focus away from the setup. And it kind of just blends in with the background. I can't help but get these tropical beachy vibes. So this is Devin's setup from Canada and he uses it for gaming, schoolwork, Netflix, and YouTube. We got a single 27 inch, 144 hertz monitor mounted against the Lindman tabletop and a few sawhorses he built out of wood. That is such a clean combo, I love it. For peripherals, he's using the Ducky 1 2 Mini with custom keycaps and a custom painted Model O gaming mouse. It looks like he took apart the top plate and painted it in purple to match the rest of the colors in this setup. I might just steal that idea. For audio, he kept things simple and stuck with a gaming headset from Logitech that he keeps underneath the desk next to his console on the other side. He even built a custom stand for the Xbox One X and painted it in silver. Very nice. The PC part in the setup is a pretty cool, slightly modded micro ATX build inside the H210. He painted the cooler bracket in white along with the motherboard seat spreaders and even the SSD tray. I also love the little artwork you did on the SSD. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Skinning your SSD in white and adding a design to it is an easy and budget-friendly way of adding a bit of customization. It doesn't look like he used any raceways or cable racks for the cable management. Instead, he just attached everything underneath the desk using double-sided tape. I just love how perfectly balanced this setup is. You know, there isn't too much focus on the personalization aspect. We got symmetry, we got function, and form. Job well done on this beautiful setup, and thank you, Devin, for entering. Coming in at number three is Emil from Quebec, Canada and his minimalistic gaming and editing setup. First thing that caught my attention was how unbalanced the setup is. I can't help but feel like there needs to be something on the right side to offset the PC on the left. He's using a 27 inch curved monitor that he mounted against the wall with a white raceway covering the cables going down. Job well done. 
We do have some Razer gear, it looks like. He's running the Razer Sinosa Chroma keyboard with the Death Adder gaming mouse. Tucking the mouse cable underneath the keyboard first before running it across the desk would have looked a lot cleaner, by the way. He is using a set of Logitech Z337 speakers that are the main source of audio for the setup, but he does own a pair of Turtle Beaches as well that he swaps for gaming. Speaking of gaming, he does that on yet another NZXT build. That is two in a row, I believe. It's got the Ryzen 5 3600X and the Zotac GTX 1070 Ti. Such a clean looking build. Now that I think about it some more, we do have another Jedi vs. Sith color scheme going on as well, since most of the colors are blue and red. I guess it can technically be a police theme as well, depending on what country you're from. He does have a TV hooked up to his PC where he watches movies and videos from the comfort of his RGB bed. I do see that you also put RGB strips in the corner of your room, so I'm just going to recommend the same raceways as before to help diffuse those. But other than that, it's a pretty chill gaming room setup you got here. Thank you, Emil, for sharing it with us. Up next is Jack from the San Francisco Bay Area. He's a high school student that uses the setup for gaming and schoolwork. We got a 27-inch curved monitor mounted on that sweet-looking countertop from IKEA. Personally, I like the looks of the Barcaboto countertop over the Carbly. I'm just a huge fan of those arrow shapes on there. Who else agrees? Speaking of the countertop, it does look like it's a little off balance. It should be a little more to the left. We do have a loyal Razer fan, it looks like. He's rocking both a Black Widow Terminal Edition keyboard paired with the Lance Head mouse. And since he doesn't have any speakers, he relies on the Kraken V2 headset hanging underneath the desk. For some reason, the blue paint on the wall isn't as distracting as I initially thought. It somehow works with Jack's setup. One thing that doesn't work, however, is the chair, my guy. You have to get something more comfortable. Your butt cheeks and back will thank you. For gaming, it looks like Jack has a few consoles that he often switches between. We got the Oculus Quest VR system and a Nintendo Switch that he custom modded himself in matte black and Sakura pink to match the Pro Controller. Very nice. Aside from those, he mostly games on his blacked out custom PC in yet another NZXT H series case. I think this is the third one just in this episode. It's equipped with the Ryzen 5 2600 and the GTX 1070 Ti. I don't really get the hype behind those cases to be honest, but hey, if it works for you, then that's all that matters. And that a pretty sweet budget setup. Thank you, Jack, for entering. Wrapping up the episode is Johannes from Denmark and his super clean, minimalistic matte black setup. Damn, that is perfection right there. He is currently going to a university and the setup's purpose is for studying, video editing, and casual gaming. He built an ultra-wide setup on top of a custom-made oak countertop from a local supplier that he installed on top of a Linac motorized desk. He kept things very simple and minimal by going with the Logitech MX keyboard and master wireless mouse. And moving on to audio, he does have a pair of Audio Engine DS1 speakers with some skinned M50Xs. Even though this is a mostly anti-RGB setup, he did add an RGB bulb behind his monitor to give it some lighting when necessary. I feel like every setup needs a bit of lighting. Whether you're against RGB or not, adding a bit of mood lighting always looks nice in any setup. The matte black color scheme even carries over to his custom compact PC that he has hooked up underneath his desk. We got the Ryzen 7 1800X paired with the Asus GTX 970. That is definitely one way of mounting a PC to a sit and stand desk. Very clever. Cable management is also perfect, and I love the fact that he hooked up everything underneath the desk and went with a coiled power cable so that it can retract and expand with the desk. This is a very clever solution to this problem that many people have. Well done on a super clean and minimalistic setup, Johannes, and thank you for entering. And that wraps up today's video. As always, make sure to comment down below and let me know which of these setups was your favorite and why. If you guys enjoyed the show, consider dropping a like before you head out as it does help out the channel a ton. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future Setup Wars videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love your beautiful holes and I'll see you very soon in the next one.